Okay, so it's got to be said. It's going to be a minority point of view because most people who pay attention to this type of topic are probably going to go along to get along. In some way, shape or fashion, they're not going to really be as direct as need be when we talk about Tay Jones. Tay Jones seems to be the one who's willing to take on all commas. He wants all the smoke. But I'm listening to Tay Jones. And you know, I've listened to him once, twice. Well, not really, but I've seen him about. I, he, he repeats the same message anyway. So once you've heard it once, you've heard it, you know. He might just add a little bit here and there. Like recently, now he's saying that should he come across Lance Pugmire, then he's got something in store for Lance Pugmire, which of course, you know, very much is in tune with the kind of character you expect this guy to be. Now, the reason why I've decided to actually do some deep digging, which is a deep dive on Tay Jones, is some of the stuff he's been saying. I think um, it sort of opens the door for us to ask more pertinent and profound questions. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll get to that in a minute. First of all, let me have a look at this picture. We're on Deontay Wilder's page right now, right? So we're on Deontay Wilder's page. So we can see Deontay Wilder. This was, uh, what, what was it? Juneteenth. Okay, this was Juneteenth. You can see the whole family there. He's got his little kids. He's got his wifey. Is his wifey pregnant again or something? Okay, is his wifey pregnant again or something? Looks like she's pregnant again. Wow. But anyway, this is a house, right? You can see the house, full house. Happy this guy right we see this guy a lot okay we see this guy a lot right okay so we know this guy this guy's always around I think he, I'm not sure whether he's a blood relation of Deontay Wilder okay uh, these are John T. Wilder's children okay. where is Tay Jones okay where's Tay Jones Tay Jones ain't there all right but he's always in the house though. He, I want to believe he's in the house. So we're going to go through Deontay Wilder's Instagram. Because Instagram, Instagram tends to be more intimate than Twitter, doesn't it? You know, Instagram tends to be more free-spirited. You know, uh, it appeals more to uh, a younger generation than Twitter. Twitter tends to be more political and dedicated towards trolling and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to look for images where you find Deontay Wilder just chilling, being with his family, you know. Because he's a family man, everybody gives him credit. Now, this is a guy I know. This is a guy I always see with him. All right? I don't see Tay Jones with him. But we always see this guy. This is a very trusted associate of Deontay Wilder. I think, I'm not sure, maybe it's one of his brothers, but you see this guy with Deontay Wilder a lot more. Then you see Marcellus. Okay, you don't even see Marcellus to the extent that you see this guy around Deontay Wilder. All right, now this is Deontay Wilder. We're going to look for images of Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? This is an image that comes back to haunt him when he was mocking uh, Dominic Brazil when he says, Serious question, is Brazil still alive? You see, this is why we ask the question about Deontay Wilder. Because you can't be a hypocrite when it comes to these type of matters. I mean, you can't be a hypocrite when it comes to these type of matters. Let me let me illustrate what I'm saying. People think, you know, it, it, it's... I can't stand people who do this type of stuff. You write something like this. Now, you people can call out Dillian White. Dillian White's another one who's, a, who's slightly hypocritical, to be honest. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, he can dish it out, but he can't take it. You understand me? But most people are like that. But I remember when he put this up and I saved it. 
I saved it after you humiliated the guy. And uh, how many months, how long after that was that? I can't remember. This is 56 weeks ago. And then a period after that time, he put the magazine up and says, serious question, is Brazil still alive? Well, we asked the same question of Deontay Wilder, and Deontay Wilder fans can't take it. Deontay Wilder fans can't take it. But anyway, we're talking about Tay Jones here, aren't we? That's, that's the main issue here. Now, this is when he was going after, he, he, he didn't give a shit about this guy. Let's keep it real. This had to do with Dillian White. So he put this up first, and then he came into the whole Dillian White situation. All right? When he said that Dylan White tested positive and still left that up there. Okay, now, but that's not important. We're looking for Tay Jones. Tay Jones, who wants to always speak for his bro, is always in the house. I think this is a picture I'm looking for. I like this picture. If this, now there's a picture, yes, no, nah, not this one. There's a picture where he's chilling with these four guys, and it's not this one here. He looks very happy in that picture, to be honest with you. It's not like, look, look, all right, is Tay Jones here? Can everybody see Tay Jones? Because we see this guy here. We see, uh, what's this, that? Something Scott, Jay Scott, whatever, the little homosexual there. We see this guy. And um, who is this? That looks like an LDBC member, but I don't know. But anyway, we don't see Tay, we don't see Tay Jones here. Tay Jones always coming on YouTube, speaking for bro. You know, I'm Bomb Squad, I'm this and that. We don't see him. So I'm going through, I'm going through this. I want to see whether I can find him anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Whether I can find Tay Jones. I'm going to have to do a deep dive. I'll talk about that in a minute, though. Because I hope I actually see him. You see, this picture, I remember this picture. I like this picture. When he said it's just business, right? It's only business, right? And this one was actually quite interesting. Was because this is when he was still with Showtime. As you can see, that's Brian Custer there. Okay? And it had to do with... Uh, Though they'd offered him 120 million, he was trying to illustrate the fact that he was still getting money, and they held up a bag that he was still with Showtime because um, Stephen Espinosa took care of him. You know, listen, I'm 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 not just hating on this dude. I watched this dude very very closely. I watched him. I knew what he was about. I knew he was trying to sell this top as soon as he, you know, as soon as he made that statement, and it was supposed to be about something more serious but it is what it is. This is when he was on Billions. So he said, listen, it's not like I didn't pay attention to him. I don't, and you say, why am I watching him? Because I don't like, listen, I'm not just going to dislike you without watching you and not giving you every opportunity. So here, he's with his boys here, right? That's Scotty the homosexual there. And that's, uh, what's his name? I, IFL guy, all right? That's IFL dude, all right? We don't, we don't see... We don't see uh, Tay Jones anywhere. I'm looking for Tay Jones. Aha, uh -huh. he's got to be here, right? Maybe we can find him in here somewhere. That's Malik Scott. That's Little Homo. Can anybody see Tay Jones here? That's uh, Mark Breland. That's Jay Diaz. You see, I know his team, and I can't remember this guy's name. This one's too dark to be Tay Jones. That's Deontay Wilder himself. Bam Squad. And this guy here is too dark. To be Tay Jones. Tay Jones goes around calling himself the Golden Warrior. He calls himself the Golden Warrior. So we're looking for him. We're looking for Tay Jones. Tay Jones, the one so close to Deontay Wada that he needs to speak for Deontay Wada all the time. I'm looking for him. I'm trying to find him on Deontay Wada's page. I want to understand in what capacity, what qualifies him. Okay, what credentials does he have? What allows him to, to come over here and say things? You know, with impunity. Because you see, this is the guy we always see. This guy, this face we are very familiar with. This is the guy. I can't see him. I can't see him in Belfast. That's fucked up. I can't see him in Belfast. So, this is getting frustrating, man. I mean, we're going way back here now. We can't see. Okay. He's got to be here, right? So, this uh, this is one of the uh, Watsons, right? This guy is a little bit too big to be 
Tay Jones. So Tay Jones, who comes around speaking for the hunting world on every opportunity, any given opportunity, I can't find him anywhere. But you see, the see, thing is, right, I was hoping to find him because I wanted to ask some questions. I wanted to ask a serious question. I wanted to ask. Now, this guy here we know. I don't know his name, though. We've seen him. We see him at the gym. You know what I mean? We've seen documentaries. All right? All right. Because I wanted to ask a question. I wanted to ask, if you spend all this time in the house with Deontay Wilder, if you're eating his food, you're always there, you're just having fun, you're living the good life, this and that and this and that. I'm thinking to myself, don't you have a wife? Don't you have a girl? You're a light-skinned nigga, and you're kind of a certain age. I'm pretty certain if you don't have a girl, unless you're gay. And even if you're gay, it's no big deal. That's not the point here. I'm saying, where do you draw the line? Because you're always coming on social media telling us as if you're sleeping in the same bed as Deontay Wilder. You see his medical records. You see his medical records, but we can't see you. We can't see nothing about you. There's nothing to indicate that you're anyway shape or form close to this guy I think you're faking the funk I think you're a liar you know I've seen him once in a shop for Deontay Wilder Deontay Wilder shop I've seen him in that one video if I can if I ever find that video where his wife and he's not even with Dante Wilder it was with Deontay Wilder's wifey she was talking and he was there oh is that him that's not him you see that's not him that's Scotty the homo again and that's the other brother. That this is Deontay, the bronze bomb of Wildman. I know you guys been waiting impatiently for my big announcement, but I will be announcing Wilder versus Lewis. Whatever, homo. Anyway, um, I'm trying to find anybody. Any, any can anybody show me? Okay, is that him? Is he? Is he down there? That's that's somebody who looks like skinned. Somebody look, I don't know, that's Vladimir Klitschko. That's Vladimir Klitschko. That's not him. You see, we're, we're going way back here now. We can't see this dude. Most likely, you know, I can't see this dude. But the question I really want to ask back then, okay, if, if I did see him, it's like, how come you want to tell us how much time you spend around this guy? But it seems to me it's almost as if you spend that much time around the guy. Like you don't have a family of your own. You're living in a man's house. You're doing this with him. You do that with him. You, you see him going there. We, we're doing this. We're doing that. What do you mean we? We don't see you. We don't see nothing about you to indicate that there's a we. That you're actually that. You're, it seems to me that you're on the periphery of any kind of attachment to Deontay Wilder. And you're trying to make you up for it by coming out there. And slandering people since you got nothing to lose as if this is a way to uh i don't know ride for the man and make it seem like you're committed but you know i mean i'm not even going to question the, the tell you're telling but i will question one thing i will question whether you are as close as you say you are to this man or are you, are you just taking advantage of some some acquaintance? You know, we see everybody else who's important to this guy on here. How come we don't see you? We even see Anthony Joshua. We don't see you. Well, we don't see you. We don't see Shelley Finkel. Are you Shelley Finkel? We don't see you. We don't see Al Heyman. We don't see Shelley Finkel. But you on social media, though. You're on social media, you're on all the channels, all the channels that support Deontay Wilder talking as if like, you know, like you, like you, like you eating out of the same plate or some shit. You know what I mean? Like you eating out the same plate, man. That's some weird shit because I want to be able to see like, yeah, you're telling the truth. I don't think you're telling the truth, bro. I think you're lying. You need to stop lying. I need to stop lying. I've been on your social media. I've been on your page. Actually, let's see. Let's see your page. Let's see your page, right? Tay Jones. I'm sure we were to find it. We will find something about you. Tay Jones. Tay Jones. Anything Tay? No, that's <laughs> look at what I wrote. Illiterate. Forgive me. I don't know why I wrote it like that. Tay Jones. All right. So that's where we at. Is that him? I'm guessing that's him. So let's see. 
Because we've been on Deontay Wilder, we can't find nothing. Oh, see, you got Deontay Wilder up, though. Your page is full of Deontay Wilder, though. Your page is full of Deontay Wilder. Okay, oh, there you are. There you are. You're sort of uh, on the periphery there. Okay. So there you are. So you put you put his images up. All right. That you and your wifey? Uh, Ted Jones, it's been a great day celebrating my queen. She's a cutie pie, though. I ain't going to lie. It's a bit of a hottie, man. You know what I mean? I don't think you're as close as you're making it out to be, bro. You say you're spending all your time in the man house. Oh, okay. Now you're bringing him something. All right. You're showing him something. Ooh, you put that. Is up. that the knockout? <laughs> you fact that you showed oh him something. Oh my god! That's Azul Bay. <laughs> Are you watching the replay? Yeah, what are you seeing? Yes, it's Azul Bay. Just say, look at his head. I bet you milked it for everything. Watch this shit. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Boom! Huh. Whoa! Have you ever watched all your knockouts in one one take? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does yeah. it look I like? I love seeing um different guys do highlight reels. Then you've done your like job that. and then you move on. You d you done your job, you kiss ass. So basically, I don't know. I don't think you're as close as you make out to be. I don't think you're close as you make it out to be, bro. I don't see nothing here to indicate that you and Deontay Wilder have some kind of special relationship to the extent that you're making it out to be. I mean, yeah, you showed him a video on ES, on ES News. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, you cut this out. Every little opportunity you get to sort of associate yourself with the man, there you is. There you is, man. But I don't think you, you know... The way you're making it out as if like, yeah, you're always in the house and this and that. You, we always do. Even the gun, even the gun video, the other guy was in it, not you. So what are you talking about? I mean, your wife, he does look like she's from Chirac, though. She looks like one of those hood, hood girls from Chirac, though. But she got fit body, though. I ain't gonna lie, though. But she looked like, a, she looked like one of them girls from Chirac. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, body-wise, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, damn, I would, you know. Mm -mm. But, you know, if you got something like this, why are you always spending all your time around De Deontay Wilder? I mean, it is what it is. I mean, uh, face it. I mean, I don't know. She she does look, I don't want to diss the, the, the beautiful black queen. I don't call black women queen, though. But I just call them beautiful black woman. You know what I'm saying? I think she's kind of nice. I mean, I would talk to her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I mean, but um, yeah, I ain't gonna diss your woman. No, no. She's you know, I like I like that tight body, very athletic looking thing. Um, but yeah, going back to you, bro, I think you're lying, man. I think I don't think you're you're as close as you make it out to be. So all this, I mean, for the amount of time you come on social media, on these channels, telling us what's going on and how this and that, that and you've got all the inside scoop and inside information. There's nothing here to indicate that you have that kind of relationship with this dude. Apart from the fact that you have on your channel, by the way, not on his, the fact that you showed him a video of somebody getting knocked out. Or, oh, sorry, by Deontay Wilder. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is that you and him there? All right. He's not even in this one, is he? He's not even on this one, for fuck's sake. <sighs> okay, is that you and uh, D Smoke? Black excellence, black power. Actually, you know what? Let me tell you something about D Smoke, right? D Smoke is a pure artist, you know. I gotta be honest, I ain't gonna disrespect, dude. D Smoke, I am, I am, you know what, man? I think he might have done himself uh, a disservice by linking his product that close 
to the failure that was Deontay Wilder. I think obviously they thought it was going to be a success, but unfortunately it was a miscalculation because if you watch the man's videos, he is a true, true, uh, how they call those guys? You know, like um, Woody Allen. There's a name they have, there's a term they have for those type of people. You know what I'm saying? Those 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 special type of people. Like I'm not saying Woody Allen's I'm not don't associate it with his sexual life or whatever. I'm talking about those type of uh, I think they call him auteurs or something like that. He really, really I mean, even I, when you watch the actual video for Black uh, Black Magic or whatever it's called, the actual video itself is I, I think maybe Deontay Wilder saw that and that's why he selected this guy because honestly the guy truly, in all honesty, he makes different type of videos and music i don't know about his music as such but the visual aspect of it i was blown away you know what i'm saying and even the 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 black magic thing with the on the plantation and everything i actually downloaded it to keep it real with you i'm not gonna buy his music because it's tainted by the underwater's failure but apart from that it is what it is but anyway i suppose we can leave this here but tay jones man i i don't believe you man i'm sorry you need more people you need more people, Tay. You know what I mean? Say hello to your wifey, though. Your wife is lovely, man. I, I mean, she's a lovely... I mean, I think, you know... I mean, looking at her like this, she's for you, obviously. You know what I'm saying? For you. You're a nice, homely woman. But here, she looks really lovely. She looks really nice there. Very nice. So I hope I'm not perving her. All right, then. Thank you very much. That's just my take, though. You know what I'm saying? Anybody got a different take? Anybody want to believe this dude? I think, I, I, you know, it's even one or two things. It's even you're lying and you're not as close to this dude. And I think that's, I prefer that to the alternative, which actually came, um, the, the sort of altern alternative point of view I came with when I first started this video. And this is the truth. The alternative point of view was like, you will it seems to me that I need to ask you do you spend time with this woman? With the amount of time that you say that you spend in Deontay Wilder's house. And you make it seem as if you're in the man's bed. And in his house. And in his this and in his that. And you've got so much intimate information about him. But, you know, to your credit, or maybe discredit, depends on how you see it. I don't think you're that close to him. I think when you're in a picture like this, where you're sort of on the side, you could, you could put it up and say, yeah, me and Deontay Wilder in the same picture because you're in that close proximity to him. And you can call yourself Bomb Squad. But I think you're on the periphery of the periphery of Bomb Squad. You know what I'm saying? How could I say it? Let me, let me see. Let's say like there was G Unit, right? Let's say there's G Unit. And let's say you got like G Unit and you got the four people in G Unit, right? And then uh, let's say like uh, somebody like somebody like uh young blood young buck forgive me young buck i've even forgotten his name decides to sign somebody to his own little subsidiary label you know what i'm saying and you don't really hear about the dude but you know he's sort of but you know he gets access to go to all the um g unit events you know what I'm saying? But he hasn't really released the record. He's just there. And it's more like, you know, walking around like part of the entourage. And, you know, his shit pops off. He's expected to sort of do his bit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you know, I think that's you. That's you with the bomb squad. I think you're on the periphery of the periphery, man. You might not even, you might even be the guy who Young, Blogs, Young Buck signed. The guy that he has in his, you might be the hype man of that dude. You know what I'm saying? You might be that far off from the center. But you claim you're in the center for real. It is what it is, though. 